Ayo, duckies, and you live here, back with another OBS tutorial, and I'm just gonna blow your mind. Let's just take a look, shall we? You know, I'm, I'm in my audio mixer. I like this, it looks beautiful. But I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna add audio monitor. What is this? Oh, damn! Let's get right into it. Put your rock over the stone. Right, so if you've seen my previous video on this, this is the audio monitor plugin from Exceldro. It only came out, what, two weeks ago? And he's already made it actually insane. So, as we know, we can monitor any audio source inside of OBS, whether it's on a video or something like that. But now he's added this audio monitor kind of uh, mixing desk, which is insane with a load of different features. And he's still going to be adding some more in the future. So let's get it all installed. We're just going to hit download in the top right, just here. Press download, and you'll get an option between Windows, Windows Installer, and Mac OS. I'd, uh, I'd recommend using the installer, it's just easier, you press next, 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 but if you need to install it manually, press download, uh, the top one that has the zip file, go to your downloads folder, as you can see just here, unzip it by just double clicking, you can just copy these two folders now, and it's going to be in C drive, and then usually it's in program files, or program files 86, and the folder you're looking for is obs-studio, or lowercase, and just paste it directly into there, it'll ask for admin privileges, and if you're like replacing the file or anything like that, it'll just ask you for that as well, but I've got it all installed, so I'm going to press no for now, and that's it, you're all ready to go, let's jump on over into OBS, and as you can see just here, I'm going to use the, the same source that I used last time. If I turn this up, you guys can hear this because this is the output. And uh, basically, what we want to do is have a different level for me. So I can't hear that right now. So the way that I can hear it is if I press this little cog just here, press filters, and then you see your audio and video filters, press the plus sign, and you should see audio monitor. If you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed it correctly, okay? So maybe go back through them steps, maybe restart OBS as well, so just close it and reopen it again. So I'm going to use audio monitor, just going to call it audio monitor for now. As you can see, it's connected. Don't worry about what device I'm using, this is how my audio is just set up inside of OBS. And I can turn this up and down, and you can't hear this, but I can hear the music. I don't know if I do this. Maybe you can hear that. <laughs> Maybe you can. So as I turn this bar up and down, I can hear it. But excelzo has gone one step further with this. Press close and go down to any of your bars at the bottom of your docks. Right click and you'll see audio monitor is there as well. Just press it open and it'll pull up this other kind of mixing desk. So as I turn this up and down, this is what I'm hearing on the monitor. So rather than being on the filter output, um, I can see it all here. So turn this up. Turn this down is what I can actually hear. If I turned yours up down here, you guys can hear that now. And I can turn this up and down to have different levels to you. So there's there's a co couple of cool features to this because you can add this dock now to, to your other docks at the bottom if you want these next to each other. So you've got your audio mixer here and then your audio monitor here so you can see what's going on. Or you can kind of overlap them together like that, and it'll join them together, and you can use it as a tab form, so you can swap between the two, rearrange them as well, so you've got your mixer there for you guys, which you can see, and my audio monitor for me, but he's added some insane features to this, so if we press the, uh, the cog just here, we can do meter output, so this is what's being uh, displayed to you guys, so I can see what levels you guys can hear right now on this, which is nothing, so if I uncheck that this shows me what this is actually producing as you can see it's completely peaking but this isn't what i can hear so i have re recommended that as a feature as well so if i change back to meter output and turn yours up you'll see on the monitor it's turned up there so i can see what you guys can hear but change mine freely as well but pressing the cog again, you'll see some other buttons down here. We've got the output slider so this is awesome so the output slider is the volume for you guys on the left and the volume for me on the right so i can control both at the same time and if i accidentally don't want to to um change yours i can press this little lock button at the top and that will stop me from being able to change your input at all so i can change mine as much as i want and it will not affect you guys at all so i'm just going to turn that down a little bit more and one last feature that is kind of thrown in here is the only active button 
So this is basically what your audio mixer already does in OBS. So you can see I have got so many sources in here. Any sound source, any anything that produces any sort of sound, they will all pop up. Um, but your audio mixer never does that. It, if I change scene now to say my just chatting screen, you will see that you can only see these few. Go to the auto monitor, I can still see them all. So if I just check the only active, it will change exactly like the audio mixer is in here as well. So these ones are technically still active. So if I right click and change output slider off, it will turn that off and they'll all reset down to this. As you can see, it might be a little bit complicated to kind of get your head around at first, but it is so easy to be able to control everything in one application without having to jump into voice meter and different things like that. I mean, I've got mine set up. I'm going through um, ASIO uh, Link Pro, I think it's called, which is an awesome piece of software um, where you can have like up to 16 different channels. So like voice meter, how you have your cables. This one has up to 16 channels. I'll leave the link below. It's quite technical. It took me a little while to get set up and working, but hopefully this video proves that I managed to get it working. But let me know what you guys think of this. And if you've got any ideas for features that we can add to it or Exodro can um, implement and stuff like that, just let us know, man. Like, that's what we're here for. We're always here to help. If you guys have got any ideas for me, for videos and stuff, let me know in the comments below. Put your rug for the stone. Let's go. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.